welcome back to my channel. Today I have a kind of review and first impression for you on uh, one of the new versions of the Michaels Recollections Planner. Um, I decided to get one of these uh, because I always wanted to do the like like a memory keeping planner, like a journaling planner almost. Um, but I really didn't want to spend the money on getting a horizontal Aaron Condren. Um, I apologize for the lighting. The sun's starting to go down. It's at night. I just put all the kids to bed. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of a glare. Um, but yeah, so when I saw that Recollections was coming back out with planners again, um, because there was some controversy last year about, uh, them looking too similar to the Aaron Condren, and I think there was a lawsuit going on. I don't know what the deal was, but apparently they're back. So I decided to go to Michael's this weekend and pick one up. Um, they had them on sale, plus I had like a 20% off of my order. Um, so after tax and everything, I think I only paid like $15.65 or something like that for this. Um, new this year, they have a rose gold coil, which is really cool. I thought that that was neat, and I love rose gold, so I got that. Um, you can see the coil looks pretty good. I mean, it's not as sturdy as the Erin Condren co coils, obviously, but, you know. When it's regularly $29.99 planner, you pay, you know, you get what you pay for. Um... So I did get this cover. Um, it's a metallic cover. It's a rose gold cover. It says it's a good day for a good day. Um, so I thought that that would be cool. Um, I was having a hard time deciding which cover that I liked. Um, and I knew I wanted a rose gold coil and this was like the only cover for a horizontal. There was a vertical one, but I just didn't think the vertical would work very well for me for memory planning. So let's dive in. So you have your little thing, it tells you what it is. It's an 18 month planner. It starts in July of 2017, goes through December of 2018. Um, inside we have the black and white polka dots. Um, your 2017-2018 um, tab has a make good use of today. That's a really cool saying and I think the floral is really pretty. Um, has the overviews of 2017-2018. Then we get into, let's see here, important dates. I don't know that I will use a lot of this stuff only because of what I'm using this planner for. Um, and then we go into July. And July's divider tab is like a floral pattern. Got like a pinky peach color. I'm not sure how much of the monthly views I will use, um, but they do look nice and the paper feels nice. Um, and then this is what their horizontal layout looks like. Pretty standard. Plenty of space to journal for the day and I do have a HP Sprocket photo printer so I can put pictures in here, put stickers in here, that kind of thing. So I will go through, the rest of the planner looks like this. Um, you have a note page in between each month. I'll go through and show you each month's thing. Um, this looks like it's black and white stripes, but in the, like, the grayish white part, there's actually, like, some sayings, um, some positive affirmations, which is kind of cool. And August is blue. September, you've got, like, this paper, this vintage paper, and this like vintage looking camera, which is really pretty. And then um, October is love with this floral looking stuff. Um, November is more floral. Not wild about floral, but you know, like I said, I'm using this for memory keeping, so I will deal with it. December is just like a plain like graph paper type design and I think I, maybe I can jazz that up a little bit. January is this like vintage bicycle on the, the paper again. 
which is cool looking. Um, more floral for February. More floral for March. Now this was the other cover that was in a horizontal and it had a silver coil that I had thought about getting and I thought was really cool. Um, just a bunch of like positive affirmations and stuff, which I thought was really neat. Um, May, it's got a little quote with some floral in the background again. And then we've got like some off-white polka dots and coral for June. Um, July is really cool. It's got hearts with all the different kinds of patterns from the other months. August, you've got this stripe. And again, since it's plain, you can kind of jazz it up however you want to. September is some floral with a quote. You are stronger than you think. October is kind of this like new wave, like chevron type print. Uh, November is a vintage typewriter with some floral. December is wake up and be amazing. What I really thought was cool about this planner was the note pages. Um, they're like a gray paper and it has, you know, the vintage floral with the adore on all of it on the line pages, which I thought was cool. And then you have the floral with the graph pages and it's the same type of gray paper with the blue graph. And then you've got some blank pages. It looks like they put washi down with the floral on there. And then you have the stickers. Um, I'm probably not going to use these at all, but it's nice that they have them. Um, these ones are blank with lines, and we've got like doctor's appointment, dentist appointment, hair appointment, nail appointment, game day, vacation, day off, appointment, happy birthday. Um, let's see what else we got here. Then you have some of the full boxes with some of the um, cover designs for the month, the little dashboard designs, some more full boxes, and some of these little flags. And you got some random, you know, like vacation, you've got some labels, some more quotes, that kind of thing. Um, the vintage typewriter, the, the bike, the camera, which are all pretty cool. Um, then you have your icons and emojis that are all in a different color. And based on whatever like planner you actually pick, um, the theme is different and the colors of the stickers are different, which is kind of cool. And then you have the pocket, it's like that paper with the floral, and then you have the zip pocket. And then that takes you back to the black and white polka dots, which is the end. Um, <clears throat> it says, it has 252 pages, 377 stickers, one pocket folder, and one zip pocket. So all in all, and I'll show you the back cover. It's just got this little rose gold embossed design on the back. All in all, um, I'm really happy with the planner. I think it'll do really well for the memory keeping because I think it'll be really cool. Um, I've always wanted to do a memory keeping, but like I said, I didn't really want to spend the money for an Erin Condren horizontal. They're kind of expensive. I don't mind using it for my like regular planner, but I didn't want to go hoarding a bunch of Erin Condren planners. That gets expensive. Um, <coughs> pardon me so all in all I think this is a great planner for the price um, they have a ton of different designs they have um, horizontal vertical they have hourly this year they have a teacher planner they have a fitness planner a goal planner a pregnancy planner um, a recipe book which I'm also pretty interested in um, a couple of the covers actually are like shaker covers. One is a unicorn that has a bunch of glitter that my nine-year-old like is dying for me to get her. So <clears throat> um, it's just a matter of, um, you know, $29.99 is not bad, but I would rather have a coupon. So yeah, I probably will go back and get my daughter the unicorn planner that she wanted and I'll check out some of the new stickers and stuff that they have. Um, but overall, I think this will work great for the memory planning that I'm going to use it for. And um, I'm really geeked 
that they have the rose gold coil this year. It's really cool because I know they had just gold last year. They have silver this year, gold, and rose gold. It just depends on which planner design you pick out. Anyway, um, so that's my overview and first impression of this planner. Um, as I start using it, I will maybe share this with you guys and whatnot every once in a while. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of the fun. And until next time, happy planning.